Hello, boys and girls. Today, our reading assignment is to read a book and look at all the illustrations. The illustrations are the pictures. And after you look at the illustrations, pick out your favorite illustration and tell why it is your favorite. I've got a book I'm going to read today that has lots of beautiful illustrations in them. It's about a little bug that looks like this. Do you know what kind of bug this is? Oh, if you said a ladybug, you're right. But guess what? It's not just an ordinary ladybug. Look at this ladybug's face. What do you think? Does it look happy or does it look grouchy? Well, my book about a ladybug is The Grouchy Ladybug. It was written by Eric Carle. He was the author. And Eric Carle also drew the pictures, so he was also the illustrator. So get ready to look at some pretty pictures and then see if you can decide which one is your favorite. Before I read this story, I want to tell you about a little bug that's in this book. There's also little bugs called aphids in this book, and Eric Carl dedicated, that means he wrote this book and said he made it especially for the aphids. Aphids look like this, and they're very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves, and then the leaves die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I have dedicated this book. Three cheers for them. So when we read about the aphids, you'll know those are the little bugs that are sucking the juice out of the leaves. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids. Look at all those little aphids on there. So with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in for the, from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So there's the ladybug. They both want to eat those aphids. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Boy, he's not a very nice ladybug, is he? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly, it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you go pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. Look, he says, go away. He is grouchy, isn't he? At six o'clock, there's the little clock. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Ah, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Well, it's seven o'clock now. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I've noticed every time I turn a page, the animals keep getting bigger, don't they? At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Oh, my. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the ladybug, the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. I bet he flew off pretty fast, don't you? I know I would if I saw a skunk lifting its tail. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Uh-oh. Look who the snake's going to be eating for lunch. My favorite little squirrel. I hope he gets away. At one o'clock. It happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I think that ladybug's really afraid of these animals, don't you? Not that they're, they're not big enough, but that it gets kind of scared. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look how little the ladybug is and it's telling the rhinoceros it's not big enough. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk, showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Now, I know a whale would be big enough. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Boy, this is a big whale, isn't it? At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. This is a huge whale. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! 
Want to fight? There it is. And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Look at it right there. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the tired, wet, and hungry ladybug. So there he is saying thank you. And look, the sweet, nice little ladybug said, you're welcome. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Well, did you like looking at all the illustrations in this story? There were some very pretty pictures, weren't they? I think the one that I liked the best, though, was this one right here. I liked it when the ladybug was trying to fight the whale's tail. And I liked the fact that I could flip the ladybug and make him fly across. And this picture right here, this reminds me of when I go to the beach and I always go camping where there's a lighthouse. And so that's why I like this picture too. I didn't get to go camping at the beach this spring break, but maybe I will this summer. So to the, today, when you read your story, look at all the pretty illustrations that are in your book. Pick out the one that you like the best, that is your favorite, and tell someone why it is your favorite picture in the whole book. We'll talk to you later. Bye.